Hey everybody, my name is Vince, and uh, I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use uh, Reconnect and WeLink. This one's going to be a bit more off the cuff and a little less researched, but uh, hopefully this can get you a basic groundwork of how to use it. Now this is going to be a tutorial for the Dolphin version of it, and uh, first and foremost, I under the assumption that you're going to be using a Wii NAND instead of a VWE from a Wii U. Uh, NAND. Mostly the reason for that is just because I haven't gotten it to work on a Wii U's NAND. So with that, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's just have a look at everything. So first things first, we're gonna actually have to connect to the Reconnect servers. So to get to Reconnect, you're gonna have to adjust your internet settings. So let's go to internet from the settings. And we're gonna go to the connection settings, go to wireless. Uh, go to the one you have at least, and then uh, search for auto obtain DNS. We're going to go to advanced settings. This is our primary DNS, and this is our secondary DNS. If you put those both in, connect fine, then you're good to go. So now we go to the WeLink GitHub page, and uh, what I am using is the version 2.0.2 .2 variant. And uh, there is a more recent variant uh, that I'm aware of, but this is just the one I'm going to be using. It's when I did it, so just keep that in mind. It might be a little bit easier, it might be a little bit harder. Uh, we just go to the download section. Uh, for me, it's Windows, and for you, it could be anything else. Just uh, click uh, what operating system you use. And then you extract it from your downloads folder, and then you uh, run the exe file that's uh, within. You might run into a little pop-up, just hit the more info and just say run anyway, and then you'll be good. Okay, so now the program should be running. And uh, first off, we're going to do the express install, so press 1. And we're going to do North America, press 1 again. This is optional, you can press yes or no, 1 or 2. And we're going to need the English translation, so let's hit 1 again. This is something to do with the exploit. Uh, just press 1 for this. We're using Dolphin Manulator, so hit 1 once again. And we're going to do this without an SD card, so let's hit 1 once again. And it should be patching now. So this will take some time, probably about 3-5 to five minutes, so I'll meet you back in just a bit. Okay, the files are done. And now we have a whole bunch of WAD files that we can use to play on Dolphin Emulator. So you can double click them right off the bat and Dolphin will run them, or you can uh, just add them to your paths so it's in your Dolphin directory. You just go to config, paths, and then press add, and then you just search for the folder and you're good. And now your Wii should be able to run a whole bunch of the Wii channels that uh, it originally could with a Wi-Fi connection. So here I am, totally in Vernal, Utah, which is where I'm totally from, checking out the weather. It's pretty nice today. And yeah, it's working great. Now there is one last thing I just got to show you, and that's the Everybody Votes channel. In Everybody Votes channel, you have to select your region, and unfortunately, it'll just uh, boot you to the Wii menu every time you do it on Dolphin, at, at the very least in Dolphin. So as a result, we're going to have to find a WAD file called Region Select. This is a homebrew app, uh, from what I remember, and it allows you to select your region where, the Dolph where Dolphin emulator fails to do it. I'll provide a Google Drive file of it in the description below. So in my example, I am changing my region from Alabama, where I'm totally from, to Washington, to where I'm also totally from. And it's just as simple as that. Okay, and I believe that should cover everything I know about Reconnect so far. My knowledge of it so far is only limited to Check Me Out, News Channel, Forecast Channel, and the Everybody Votes channel. So I haven't exactly tested Nintendo channel yet. That is basically custom created by the modders themselves. And I will say that it doesn't, some, in my experience, it doesn't work the first time. It's something you gotta be persistent about. 
So as long as you're willing to deal with this, it shouldn't be too long before you eventually get it working. And if you really do have problems, I recommend looking at the Wii Link Discord server. They have a really good troubleshooting section. Now, I haven't exactly solved all the error codes on this section. A lot of them have to do with uh, your internet connection or fire blocked by like some sort of firewall or something. If I manage to eventually figure them out, I will make like an updated video on this, but this should cover the bases for now at least. If you happen to have questions about any and all this, uh, just feel free to send me a question on the comments below. Hopefully I will figure something out for you. Anyway, my name is Vince, hope you enjoyed, hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time.